Okay, today we're going to try and explain basically how to have a better understanding or an understanding of transformers. So, we're going to use a power supply here. Uh, we're going to switch this on and if you listen very, very closely, you'll find that there's a noise coming from here because actually this runs off 235 volts in the house and it can convert it to 2 volts, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 on here. Yeah? Either DC LTL, the red and the black, or AC, which is what we're going to use the day, out of here. But we still have a selection of AC volts 2 to 12. So, what we need to do is we need to try and prove or explain a little bit about a transformer. Transformer is a device that uh, increases the voltage or decreases the voltage and also increases or decreases the current. You need to have AC, so we're going to plug an AC supply into here, that's the yellow um, poles out there, and we've used two sets of windings because you have a winding on one side and a winding on the other. This is the primary side and this is the secondary side. We have wire wrap round here from our early investigation of 600 turns and wire wrap round the secondary coil of 1200. That's a ratio of 6 to 1200 is 2 to 1. That's a ratio of 2 to 1. So this is attached around an iron core. This is the top plate. You can hear the magnets being activated or the iron core is being magnetized should I say. Okay so if we tighten this down we've got 12 volts going in here on the primary we've got a 2 ratio on the outside 2 to 1 so we should have 12 volts there should be 24 volts coming out so if we fix this in to our multimeter we'll go on the common and we'll try it on the voltage we've got 23 now it should be 24 but sometimes these switched power supplies on this side don't give the exact figure but if I was to go to 6 on here we should have about 12 out there. And you can see it's changing. I'm on 8 here. You've got 15. I'm on 10 here. So that's 20. We can try and... We can try and show this on an oscilloscope by putting the oscilloscope onto the output side, which is the secondary coil on here, and an oscilloscope, which we have here, onto the primary side of this coil and the wave itself should if we have a look at this primary oscilloscope coil we can see that the squares the square grid is manipulating or moving around are about four two below and two above the range so if we put four in as a two to one ratio we should have eight coming out so if we get a look at this range on the secondary oscilloscope we have the peaks and troughs ranging from Minus 4 to plus 4, so that's 8. If I was to move this down to 4 volts, you'll find that this only has a range of about 2 squares. So if it's double on the other, it should be a range of about 4 squares. So that's 2 below the peak and 2 to the trough. So this is self-explanatory. It gives an illumination from the oscilloscopes to represent how... In this case, a step-up transformer can work. If the ratios were reversed, it would be a step-down transformer. Okay, I think that's about it.